Hi, I'm Nicolette, and I love French films. I also love astrology. So I thought, why not combine the two and figure out what French film is best for each zodiac sign? I've included some classics, some contemporary stuff, even a documentary. So without further ado, the zodiac signs as French films. Aries are bold, they're passionate, they're outspoken, and if you get in their way, they will come for you. I mean, they're a fire sign, they're fiery. Since Aries is the first sign in the zodiac, I thought it would be fitting to choose an early pioneering French film. Zéro de Conduit is a 1933 film written and directed by Jean Vigo. This film follows several rebellious boys at a repressive French boarding school as they plan and execute a revolt against their teachers and overtake the school. This film was actually banned in France until 1945 because people were just so shocked to see a school setting in such a crisis. These kids are in full-on fiery rebellion. It's honestly a lot of fun to watch. Taurus are super hard workers. They typically have a very intense internal drive, but they don't always like to follow authority. So they're very determined and brave when it comes to following their own path and journey. They also value honesty and truth, and they are very loyal partners. With that in mind, I think a really good film for Taurus is A Very Long Engagement, directed by Jean-Pierre Jeunet. This film follows a woman as she searches for her fiancé, who has disappeared during World War I. Essentially, authorities say that he has disappeared, he's dead, he's gone, but she doesn't believe this. She is determined to figure out what happened to her fiancé, and this woman is so brave and so determined. This movie is really epic in scale, I mean, it's a historical, dramatic romance. Geminis are represented by the twins because they're thought to have two different sides to them, two different personalities, two different faces, and really they're very much like a social chameleon. They're really good at blending themselves into different groups. They can kind of shift their mood and their personality based on the situation. And partly because of that, a lot of times Geminis are seen as like the life of the party. They have a lot of energy, they love to gossip, they just keep things exciting. So for Gemini, I chose Paris Je T'aime. This isn't necessarily a French film, but it does take place entirely in Paris. It's a compilation of 18 different short films, and each film is written and directed by a different person, it has a different cast, it's a different genre. This film has everything. There's comedy, there's drama, there's romance, there's weird, dark kind of sci-fi-esque stuff. And as a whole, this film is a party in itself. Like, this is a star-studded party. The Coen brothers did a short, Alfonso Cuaron, Gus Van Sant, you got Natalie Portman in it, Steve Buscemi, William Dafoe, Juliette Binoche. It's a party. Cancers are the emotional heart of the zodiac. They're really perceptive of people's emotions. They're loyal, they're generous, they really care about other people and how other people feel. Cancers also tend to be very creative. They need solo time to kind of recharge, tap into that creativity, because a lot of their energy is spent on um, other people, caring for other people and their emotions, or just like empathetically feeling other people's emotions. Because of this, I think that a great film for Cancers would be Amélie by Jean-Pierre Jeunet. It's just absolutely lovely. It's imaginative, it's super whimsical. The protagonist, Amelie, has a super loving, generous heart. She's really perceptive of the people around her and she goes out of her way to help them, but she does it in a very quiet way. She's very introverted, she keeps to herself, and the whole movie has these glimpses also into Amelie's magical mind and what her imagination is like. I think Amelie is a great blend of the sensitive, kind, caring side of Cancer and the imaginative, introverted, whimsical side of Cancer. Leos are proud, they're courageous, they're enthusiastic, and they really don't have trouble making friends because they just thrive on social interaction. They also love a grand gesture. So for Leo, I chose the film Blockbuster. 
This is a comedy about, well, a very grand gesture. Jeremy is dumped by his superhero-loving girlfriend Lola, and he decides to try and win her back by creating and filming this elaborate scheme about superheroes and kidnapping and, well, it's a big production. This film is so much fun. It takes a lot of inspiration from comic books and also Michel Gondry films. Actually, Gondry has a brief cameo as himself in the movie, which is a very meta, fun moment. But yeah, this movie is over the top, kind of absurd, but super unique, and ultimately has a beautiful, heartwarming core to it. What can I say about Virgos? They're basically perfect. No, I'm not a Virgo, but I know that these people are Pinterest perfect, organized, perfection. Like, I mean, they're also really hard on themselves because they do expect perfection from themselves. They also tend to have a very rich inner life. Sometimes this can come across as them being shy, but really it's just because they're like, they're in their head. They're like probably color coding things in there or like visually organizing their dream home. I don't know. I think a movie that represents Virgos really well is Les Emotifs Anonymes or Romantics Anonymous. This film is a romantic comedy set in a chocolate factory and it's about a romance between two adorably awkward, shy people that both suffer from severe social anxiety. Jean René runs this failing chocolate shop, and Angelique is this incredibly talented chocolatier, but she is so shy that she doesn't take credit for it, and she pretends that there's this like hermit in the mountains that she gets all of these recipes and tips from. It sounds complicated, but it makes sense in the movie. This movie is perfect in so many ways. The whole production design and the colors are wonderful. It's really endearing. It's close to perfect. I love this film. Libras are represented by the scales. They're a very balanced sign. They typically have a very good work-life balance. And they also love people. They love socializing. They love meeting new people, hearing their stories. They love hanging out with big groups, whether that be friends or family or coworkers. Libras are also very inquisitive and they are very attracted to intelligence and learning new things. So I felt like a documentary would be a really good choice for a Libra. Faces Places is a documentary that follows the prolific director Agnes Varda and the photographer and muralist J.R. And it follows them through rural France as they kind of form a friendship and as they meet a bunch of new people and photograph strangers as a part of these large-scale photographic murals. This documentary is great. It's entertaining, it's informative, it's fun. The discussions they have, like artist to artist are great, and seeing all the people they meet and the places they go is really a fun, cool experience. Scorpios are hot. They're passionate, they're sexy, they're independent. They know what they want, and they will go after it. For Scorpios, I chose the 1968 Bunuel film, Belle du Jour. This film is a trip, a sexy trip. It's a little surreal because, well, it was directed by Bunuel, and it's about this housewife, played by Catherine Deneuve, that has all of these masochistic, semi-BDSM fantasies about her life. But in reality, she's like with this prim and proper doctor and they straight up just don't have sex. So she hears about this high class brothel and goes to it and starts working there. And she uses the name Belle du Jour. I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want to ruin the film, but I think that this is a great, sexy, surreal pick for Scorpio. Sagittarius are the travelers of the zodiac sign. They love travel, they love acquiring new knowledge, so they love learning languages, meeting new people, learning about different cultures. They have a deep appreciation for books, for museums, and just going on journeys both literal and metaphorical in terms of gaining new experiences. A great film for Sagittarius would be Cédric Klepisch's film L'Auberge Espagnole. This film is about a French university student who moves to Barcelona through the Erasmus program 
and lives with a ton of other people from all across Europe. This film is kind of like a celebration of the knowledge and experiences you can gain from travel, from meeting new people, from experiencing other cultures, and ultimately how that can change your life for the better. This film is the first part of a trilogy, so there are two more films after it, Russian Dolls and Chinese Puzzle. Capricorns are the mountain climbers of the Zodiac. They are constantly trekking up a mountain, and if there is not a mountain to climb, they will build one so that they can climb it. Essentially, they are diligent, they're hardworking, and if you want to get something done, give it to a Capricorn. Capricorns often come across as polished and sophisticated as well because they're really good at small talk, so they can get along with and talk to a bunch of different types of people, very like cocktail party vibes. And they also tend to avoid awkward situations. So if something's going down at a party, it's getting a little awkward, the Capricorn will likely politely and quietly exit the situation. The perfect fit for Capricorn is Coco Before Chanel. This is an epic biopic directed by Anne Fontaine about Coco Chanel. It follows the rise of Coco from her early days as a seamstress to essentially being the empress of Parisian haute couture. Chanel was super ambitious, hardworking, creative, and she created very sophisticated, polished clothing. I think Capricorns will really appreciate Chanel's story, as well as the historical detail put into this film. Aquarians are really big picture thinkers. A lot of times they are able to see connections that other people aren't aware of or don't see. They tend to have a strong sense of social justice and they really want to make the world a better place and they believe in the innate good of people. They're really good listeners, they will approach everything with an open mind and really hear you out and try to find a creative solution for your problem because Aquarians are also very creative people. The Untouchables is a 2011 dramedy inspired by a true story. It follows the friendship between two men, Philippe, a wealthy quadriplegic, and his newly hired caregiver, Dries. Initially, the two of them are in this situation that they just don't want to be in. Dries doesn't actually want the job, he just needs a signature on a form saying he interviewed somewhere, and Philippe doesn't really want to admit he needs help, he doesn't want pity from anyone, but through the course of the film, a friendship grows between these men and they teach each other, they help each other, and they offer each other a fresh perspective on life. It's a fantastic film, it's funny, heartwarming, uplifting, there are just so many beautiful moments. And I think the men's friendship works well with Aquarius traits, with this idea of being open-minded, creative, and making the world a better place. Because at the end of the day, you realize these characters really care about each other. They listen to each other, they help each other, but find creative, unconventional ways of achieving that. Pisces are a water sign. They are deeply intuitive people. They prefer smaller groups as opposed to large crowds and loud parties. They really value their solo time because they have a very active imagination like other signs, but they like to retreat into their fantasies and their imagination. A great film for Pisces is Water Lilies. This film was written and directed by Celine Shyama, whose most recent film was Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It's a coming-of-age story that takes place in a French suburb, and this young girl wants to join the synchronized swimming team, mainly because she is enthralled by this girl, played by Adèle Anel, who is on the team. There's obviously a lot of water in this film because of synchronized swimming and pools, so I think it works well with the water element of the Pisces sign. And it follows the relationship of these two girls, and it's done in this just beautiful way that really captures the emotions, the intimacy, and the uncertainty of coming of age and of questioning your sexuality. Let me know in the comments, do you think that the film I picked for your zodiac sign matches? If not, let me know what film you think works best. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. That's all for now.
Au revoir.